Welcome to this uh, Windows channel and um, I think this video is not a bad idea to share with everybody that you know in order to um, have everybody understand in a down to plain, you know, down to earth English what exactly is happening with Meltdown Inspector 2 security flaws discovered on uh, CPUs and these are really really um, kind of serious and what exactly it's all about so okay first things first what does it affect so what's the thing is that CPUs are the brain of your computer the brain of every device that you own they are there to really do the all the math and all the things behind what makes your computer work What's happening is that they've discovered two flaws. One is more serious than the other. One is called Meltdown, and the other one is Spectre. And basically, these security flaws have been discovered in how your CPU or the processor handles the way that it actually works within your system with the kernel, which is basically the basics of your operating system now it is a serious flaw because how serious is it it means that people can steal personal data off of this from your computer off of any applications meaning they could steal credit card information they could steal whatever personal data you've got in every type of applications possible it is very serious and there are a few things that's going to happen and I'll talk about chain of events and how to protect yourself when it's possible because as long as there's no update for it you really can't do anything about it to protect yourself and that is also the serious part of this so meltdown is the worst of all it is one of the worst bugs found and this is the one that really needs attention um, the most, okay? Because it's the one that basically anybody that wants to try to uh, steal personal data or steal information, they're gonna, they can do it easily. Spectre, on the other hand, is much harder to take advantage of, but it's also more difficult to fix and will probably be a bigger problem in the long term. So the immediate fix that there is right now of these flaws is mostly um, of the meltdown problem because that's the one that's easy to fix. Um, one of the things that's amazing is that the security flaws here um, could actually affect chips that were made as far back as 1995. So it affects a host of devices, even old computers and old devices. That's pretty amazing. Now, don't be fooled. A lot of people are saying, hey, this is an Intel problem. It is not just an Intel problem. And Intel wanted to put things straight yesterday. It is every ARM AMD, or almost every ARM AMD and Intel CPUs made. So what does that mean? That means your PC, your Mac computer, your iPad, your iPhone, a lot of uh, Android smartphones, uh, Linux machines, they're all affected. On the ARM side, it's not everything. There are some exceptions to the rule. So there are some processors that aren't affected by it. But that means there's a lot of devices that need to be patched. So this is pretty amazing uh, also. Um, now, it is it, you know, as I, as I said, it, it can steal your personal data. So for financial data, credit cards, banking records, anything, logins, passwords, secret information that of all sorts that you got to, that you, you got to keep secret basically. Um, the meltdown one can actually steal all of that easily. 
So um, inspector, well, that one can be used to trick applications into giving up sensitive data. So uh, that's also that's also something serious. But it's more it's harder to to get a hold of. Is it already being used by bad guys? That's also something we want to know. Um, according to several cybersecurity centers around the world that always take a look and you know really track these things. No, we, we have no evidence of anybody right now taking advantage of this, which is good news. But the bad news is bad guys that want to steal data are hard at work in exploiting it because that is a, a gold mine for them. So it's not right now being exploited from what we know, but I can tell you one thing, it is going to be exploited. There's no, no uh, question about it. Um, what operating systems and what things are fixed right now? Okay, if you have a Windows 10 PC, you are fixed as there's a update that rolled out yesterday, January the 3rd. That might not show up for some of you and that means you'll have to wait a little longer and that means something in your pc is not compatible with the fix linux if you've got the latest linux distros they pretty much all have been patched mac computers make sure you have the latest updates they have been patched also but that said that means if you're running a mac computer with an older system uh, 10.7, 10.8, systems that typically don't receive any security updates anymore. Those are at risk. Remember that. Uh, iOS devices is uh, iPhones and iPads. There's, there's supposed to be an update to your devices today, Thursday. So uh, that will be fixed today, apparently. Now, one of the impacts, because we've been reading about people saying, oh, well, it slows down the computer and so on. Well, you know what? For most part, for the most part, it ain't going to affect the speed of your computer, really. There were some, you know, um, there were some news about how it slowed down PCs and so on. But, you know, it's a case by case uh, problem. Um, maybe some things might be slowed down, but a lot of them will not. So that's also something to um, to think about. And by the way, for Android devices, the ones that are affected, um, it will take time. Android, we know for security stuff, is not very fast, except if you have the latest, you know, Google phones and stuff like that. So for Android phones, that might be a problem for a while. Um, <clears throat> who found this flaw? Well, it was the uh, Google Project Zero team which actually checks all of the, you know, security flaws and all the, tries to find security holes everywhere. Uh, they are the ones that announced this, that said, hey, you've got, um, you've got a problem. For Windows 7, Windows 8, uh, you'll have to wait next week, past Tuesday, we'll update the rest of the Windows family. So Windows 7 and Windows 8, hopefully nobody will have any problems uh, since then. And uh, basically, just hope that you get an update as soon as possible on every device you've got to make sure that you keep um, safe on this. It's very important. And this is uh, these are two big flaws. But like I said, the most important one is Meltdown. That's the one that can be immediately exploited uh, right now. And finally, if you have a Chromebook, if you updated your Chromebook's operating system to... Um, let me just uh, remind myself, Chromebooks updated to Chrome OS 63, which started rolling out in mid-December, are already protected. So um, that is something also for Chromebook users. And if you're an insider in Windows, that also was patched in mid-December. So it gives you an idea. These big companies knew for a while that this was a problem. What's making the patches kind of more urgent right now? It was the fact that it was um, basically talked about in the open yesterday, January 3rd.
So that's all the information and uh, make sure that you update your systems as much as possible to keep safe. Enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up and thank you so much for following us on this channel.